Last Friday, Speaker Ferdinand and Martin Romualdez took the lead. In inaugurating the new Philippines Service Fair, BPSF initiated by President Ferdinand and Bongbong, Marcos Jr., in Agusan del Norte, involving 53 participating agencies of the national government, it was reported that over 293 services were offered to around 80,000 beneficiaries. During the two-day service celebration, amounting to a total of 300 million pesos in programs and services. Of this, 122 million pesos were allocated for cash assistance. Additionally, 200,000 kilograms of rice were distributed under the Speaker's Cash and Rice Distribution Program. 63 members of the House of Representatives attended the opening of the largest service, Caravan demonstrating solidarity and delivering immediate services to Filipinos as advocated by the president. Many people are seen attending such fairs organized by lawmakers due to the substantial amount of aid being distributed to the public. According to a well-known vlogger, Joadi Viver, many people are disappointed with the aid distribution. They were expecting 4,000 pesos as received in the past, but only received 2,000 pesos it's disappointing for those who came from afar, only to be used as props for the boot to on city presidential campaign leg of Martin. If these allegations hold true, nearly half of the AICS funds seem to have gone missing. All of this occurred while the president was ill, raising questions about the lawmakers' eagerness to distribute aid. Is it because kickbacks are easily obtained here? Is this what the loyalists want? It seems like they still fail to see the wrongdoing in Tambaloslos' actions. Apart from this, it is evident that Tambaloslos is already acting as the country's president, as his pictures on tarpaulins are larger than those of President BBM.